Today we are going to discuss the effect of blood volume and sympathetic stimulation on mean circulatory filling pressure. In our last lecture we discussed that mean circulatory filling pressure is basically the pressure in the system when the contraction or the heart beating has been stopped and blood ceases to flow in the vessels. When heart is not beating and blood is not flowing in the system then the equal pressure on the arterial and venous side the pressure that becomes equalized or becomes equally distributed in the whole system that is known as the mean circulatory filling pressure. We also discussed that if the the blood flow to the pulmonary vessels is stopped and and then the pressure in the blood vessels is measured in the systemic vessels only then it is considered as mean systemic filling pressure. Now today basically we are going to discuss the effect of blood volume and sympathetic stimulation on mean circulatory filling pressure. Basically the mean circulatory filling pressure helps the blood move towards the heart and it is an important component it is an important component of the venous return it helps in the venous return it helps the blood in returning towards the heart now we are going to discuss the effect of blood volume and sympathetic stimulation on the mean circulatory filling pressure with the help of this graph here we have plotted the mean circulatory filling pressure on the y axis and it's in the millimeter of mercury and we have uh, plotted the volume of blood here on the x axis. Here we have in the black color the normal mean circulatory filling pressure and normal blood volume. And we see that at the normal blood volume of around 5 liters, at around 5 liters or 5000 milliliters, the, the mean circulatory filling pressure is around 7 millimeter of mercury so in a normal person in a normal person without extra blood volume without sympathetic stimulation the blood the, the mean circulatory filling pressure is around 7 millimeter of mercury and the blood volume is around 5 liters and we see that if we start increasing the blood volume until the volume of around 4000 milliliters or 4 liters there is there is no increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure and we see that the mean circulatory filling pressure is at around zero level till the volume of around 4000 milliliters or 4 liters after the effect of after the uh, 4000 level with the increasing extra blood the mean circulatory pressure starts rising and normal it reaches its normal level at around uh, 7 millimeter of mercury it with the increasing volume the pressure becomes around 7 millimeter of mercury but if we start increasing until uh, until and unless we have reached the 4000 milliliter range there will be no change in the mean circulatory filling pressure in our last lecture we discussed that there is some stressed and unstressed volume now the initial volume the initial volume of blood the two third of volume is basically unstressed this volume of blood till this level that two-third of the blood basically it fills the blood vessels it fills the system it just fills the system and that extra one-third that extra one-third beyond this point it it is the stressed volume it is the stressed volume and the stressed volume basically the stress volume basically exert pressure on the blood vessels from the inner side because we uh, considered an example of a, a bag or a sack which is being filled with a fluid and the 
the bag just keep on expanding with the initial blood volume but is not exerting any pressure once the bag is filled with fluid or water after that by increasing any extra volume that that uh, sac or that uh, the, the the boundaries or the walls of the sac or the bag will have some stress so in the human body the the two third of blood is basically unstressed volume and it just keeps on filling the system or the blood vessels and it is not exerting any pressure and after the after the volume of around 4000 ml or 4 liters that extra blood is basically the stressed volume and with the addition of that stressed volume of blood there is a rise in the mean circulatory filling pressure now what will happen one what will happen if sympathetic stimulation if sympathetic stimulation occurs due to any reason the sympathetics gets stimulated and from the brain some signals are sent to the blood vessels and some signals are sent to the heart now we know with the sympathetic stimulation there will be constriction of the blood vessels there will be increase in the heart rate heart rate will increase the heart will pump more forcefully and these vessels will also constrict now with the constriction that reservoir that reservoir for unstressed volume that reservoir for the unstressed volume it will shrink it will decrease and more fluid will shift into the blood vessels there will be less space for the unstressed volume because the blood vessels will be constricted due to the sympathetic stimulation which will lead to an increase which will lead to an increase mean circulatory filling pressure an increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure at the same volume when we have this green color sympathetic stimulation there is an increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure there is an increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure even at this normal even at this normal volume even at this normal volume the circulatory pressure increases around 2 or 3 times we see that when when there is normal volume and no sympathetic stimulation we have the mean sympathetic a mean circulatory filling pressure of around 7 mm of mercury at around 5 1000 ml of blood or around 5 liters of blood at this point when there is sympathetic stimulation which has been shown in the green color the, this curve basically shifts this left side this curve shifts toward the left side and and at the same level at the same level at the same level of these blood volumes at the same levels of the blood volume at this same 5 liters there is an increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure from this level to this level from this 7 mm of mercury to around 14 mm of mercury or even more than that so it simply means that there is an effect of there is an effect of increasing blood volume because when we start increasing the blood volume with the increase in the blood volume there is an increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure similarly with the sympathetic stimulation there is an increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure and both of these factors basically lead to an increase in the venous return both of these factors lead to an increase in the venous return finally if there is inhibition of the sympathetic stimulation if there is inhibition of the sympathetic stimulation then we see that at the same level at the same volume of blood we will have lesser level of mean circulatory filling pressure at this same level at this same level of 5000 we will have lesser level a lesser mean circulatory filling pressure or we can even have this like if you draw a simple line we can have this at this level so we see normally at normal volume of blood without sympathetic stimulation we have 7 mm of mercury mean circulatory filling pressure at 5000 ml of blood 
when the sympathetics get stimulated at this same level of 5000 ml of blood the mean circulatory filling pressure jumps to around 14 or even more than 14 mm of mercury if there is inhibition of sympathetic stimulation if we have inhibition if the sympathetics are stopped these blood vessels will dilate these will dilate in the sympathetic stimulation they get constricted but with the inhibition of sympathetics these blood vessels they get dilated so when they get dilated there is a room for the unstressed volume with the sympathetic stimulation there is no room for unstressed unstressed rather more of the volume is in the stressed condition so with inhibition or stopping the sympathetics the mean circulatory filling pressure the mean circulatory filling pressure drops to a lower level drops to a lower level at the same volume at the same volume so this Uh, this is about uh, the effect of the blood volume and sympathetic stimulation and which shows that the increase with the increasing blood volume the mean uh, mean circulatory filling pressure increases and similarly with the activation of sympathetic stimulation there is an increase in the mean circulatory filling pressure which basically both of the factor leads to an increase in the venous return because both of the factors lead to an increase in the stressed volume with the inhibition or stopping of the sympathetic stimulation there is a decrease in the mean circulatory filling pressure because there is a room for unstressed volume or there is a like pooling of the blood like a reservoir of the blood develops so that's all about the effect of blood volume and sympathetic stimulation on mean circulatory filling pressure thanks a lot for watching the video